Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! Imagine that we develop a system that has two roles, admin and manager. Every time we register a user to the system, we want to assign a role to that user. What I will do first is to go to the roles table and add two roles manually. Normally, you are supposed to do something like this within the system, in case roles are dynamic. But in our case, and in many other cases, roles never change, which means whatever roles we add right now will never change. Anyway, so the first role will be admin, and we can say here admin, and admin here. And the second role, as I said, manager. Okay, so I will click go here, and as you can see now, we have two roles in the system. So let's make sure that whenever we register a user, we give him or her the role manager. By the way, role users here is our pivot table. This is where a user and the role of that user is saved, which also means that a user can have many roles. For example, a user can be a manager and an admin. I will open the registration controller and this is where we create the user. Now I want to give this user a role. We need to take two steps under consideration. Step one is to find the role. Step two is to assign the role to the created user. So let's start with step one. We can find the role by ID, name or slag. If you remember, these are the fields that we have for all here. ID, slag, and name. Of course, we also have permissions and created at, updated at, but as identifiers, we only have the ID, the slag, and the name. Usually, I use the slag for this. So what I will do is to say sentinel, and then find role by, and here is where you can use ID or name, or the one I prefer, slag. So the slag of the role that we want to find is manager. And yeah, this is everything that you have to do to find a role. Now, step two is to assign the role that we have here to this user. We can say role, users, and then attach. And we attach the user. If you think this is complicated, then don't worry about it. This is a relationship right here, and we will learn about it in the Laravel series, and this is a method that you have available. But what we did here was to use the role that we just found, and then we are calling the users function, and if you want to take a look at this relationship, then open the eloquent role, and if you scroll down a bit, you will find this method right here that says users. So anyway, back to this. Once we call the users, then we are calling the attach method and we attach the created user, which is this one right here, to this role that we just found. In case this user exists with this role or vice versa, then we will get an error, which means that a user with ID 1 cannot be a manager twice. So one last time, we attach this user to this role. Save this, and I will go now to the register form. Okay, so let's give this a try. So we are redirected back to the index page, this is good. And now let's take a look at the users table. So if I go to the users table, we have this new user here with ID 4 that we just created. And if we take a look at the role users here, we can see that a user with ID 4 is assigned to a role ID 2. And of course, we know that this role here corresponds to the manager role. And if you go to the roles table, you can see that the ID2 is a manager. So we pretty much assigned a user as a manager. Exactly what we did in this code right here. Okay, so in the next video, I will use the role of the user to display a dashboard specific for that role.